Time. Fox News legal analyst Lise Wheel and celebrity defense attorney Jeffrey Steinberger are here to talk about the very latest in this, uh, oh, I don't know, snafu by one of the favorites that we like to watch, Paris Hilton, Nicole Ritchie, Britney Spears, and now Lindsay Lohan once again. Lise, um, is she going to face serious jail time? Because for the first time, she is being charged with a felony, and that is that cocaine right. that she had in her pocket that one of her friends stuffed in there. Right. Julie, I don't see her getting out of this one. I mean, whether she gets clean or not, I don't see her certainly doing any less time, for example, than Paris Hilton or even Robert Downey Jr., who served 100, was you know, sentenced to 180 days. That cocaine is serious. Now, there was another charge brought on that she not only possessed cocaine, but she transported it. Well, come on. She transported it from, you know, the police car into the into the jail facility. Um, right. I don't really see that one sticking, but the other one, yeah, I well, see Well, yeah, sticking. that charge originally was dropped because she was originally right. accused and was going to be charged with transporting, but it turned out she wasn't really transporting it to a prisoner, so they went ahead and dropped right. it. However, Jeffrey, she does maintain her innocence, and she's even uh, outwardly speaking about it by emailing television shows. In fact, let's throw up the email she sent to Access Hollywood. She wrote, I am innocent, did not do drugs, they're not mine, I was almost hit by my assistant Taryn's mom, I appreciate everyone giving me privacy. Okay, so there's a couple punctuation marks missing there, but read in between the dots um, for us, Jeffrey. Julie, this is a, Lindsay's a train wreck out of control. She's either going to be going to the morgue or to jail. And this time, she's probably going to jail. My celebrity clients all follow the same pattern. Accelerated drug use. She's now upped it from alcohol to alcohol and cocaine. And accelerated uh, frequency of arrest. She has 60 days from the Beverly Hills arrest to the Santa Monica arrest. This is not the atmosphere after Paris's debacle to be playing with these judges they have a no nonsense for celebrities mode and she's going to be looking at 30 to 60 days at least minimum in jail and a drug rehab program that's at least six months to a year. This is not going to be a Mickey Mouse 28 day program. She's not going to get away with that this time. They're not playing with these girls. They're not playing with these celebrities. You got to take the celebrity out of this and you got to look at her as a 21 year old mm -hmm. kid who's really in danger. And it's probably the best thing that's going to help this kid get out of this cycle. This may be her bottom right. and this may bring her back to reality. Let's hope so, but in a lot of these cases, it doesn't seem to work, at least not until their eighth or ninth time in rehab. But if you do the math, you've got two DUIs, you've got driving without a license, you've got the cocaine thing, um, and then you've got her chasing her assistant who just quit her mom in a vehicle. I mean, what if she had struck her? Then that would be another charge of she's reckless facing, and danger. Absolutely. She's, fa she's facing at least eight years. Eight what? years of wow. jail time on a felony she, possession. She won't, she won't get anywhere Please, near that. She even, yeah, how close no, should no, she no, get she, to eight she, years in jail? She won't get anywhere near that. I mean, she'll get maybe up to a year, but I think even that, and then there'll be some probation. And, you know, I would say the rehabilitation, the, she should pay for that rehabilitation. Why should the taxpayers of California be paying for that? And also, you know, about the cocaine, she's saying she's innocent about that. But I mean, Julie, come on, if you make yourself the judge or the jury here for a minute, mm -hmm. do you think anybody's going to believe that, oh, I just, a friend just gave it to me, it's not mine? Don't you think we've all heard that a time or two and nobody's going to buy that, Julie? Right. Those... She, she may not be getting eight years, but she's going to get some substantial time here. Okay. They're not going to play with her. They're really not going to do that. They're going to give her right. at least a drug alcohol program for six months and at least some time in jail. Yeah, they tried when I was in like eighth grade with my friend's mom. I told you they were in D my socks. Didn't do it. My best didn't friend do it. left alone. I don't. All right, guys, gotta go. Jeffrey Steinberger and Lee's Wheel, thank you very much.